Shalom, 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 shalom. God bless every one of you. Thank you for taking your time to watch this wonderful episode. Why well, share with us uh, four times when you should use the name of Jesus Christ. We all know that there is power in his name. There are things I want to share with you. This is my book, The Fruit of the Tongue. If you already have it, please try to go through it again. There are some principles you need to put into place. All right. I want you to know that your miracle you are looking for is within you. The only thing you need to do is just to declare it out and receive it. There is another thing I would like to send to you. This very one is a daily declaration. I said, there is anointing that breaks every you in his blood. Daily declaration. The blood of Jesus set you free from sickness, sin, hardship, poverty, disease, in the name of Jesus Christ. You declare that every day. Put it in your book just like this. And then you bring it out. Declare it in the name of Jesus. There is an anointing in his blood. The anointing of the Lord Jesus Christ destroyed the youths, destroyed poverty, destroyed lack in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Uh, if you want to get my book, just follow the link you are seeing right now. Go to our website and get the hard copy. Not uh, not the e-copy, the half copy. If you buy the hard copy, the hard copy is just 10 US dollar. If you buy the hard copy, I will send you this very one, this daily declaration. Declare it over your life, over your children, in the name of Jesus. And wash the blood of Jesus, rot signs and wonder. Now let's go to what I will need to discuss today. Four times when you should use the name of Jesus. Number one, use the name of Jesus against sickness. The Bible says, have given us a name which is above every other name, and at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. You, every sickness and disease must bow to the name of Jesus. So, speak the name over yourself, over others, and expect sickness to disappear as you command the sickness the disease to go remember sickness is a name disease is a name but the lord have given you a name which is above every other name and as you call that name sickness will go because sickness obey his name disease obey his name poverty obey his name number two Use the name of Jesus to rebuke lack. The word rebuke is to command. The word rebuke means you command the things to go. Or you force the things to go. All you need to do, force that sickness to disappear. Jesus came to give you abundant life. That is what he said in the book of John 10 verse 10. The B part of it. You see, I came that you might have life, that you might have it more abundantly. So, lack is not a part of God's agenda for your life. Lack is not in the package at all. So, use the name to command lack to go. Alright? You command every case to disappear. You are going to say, lack, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You are not coming into my family, into my life, into my back account. I command you to get out of here. Get out of here in the name of Jesus Christ and lack will disappear. Number three, use the name of Jesus to make demon flee. Use the name of Jesus to make demon flee. <laughs> Every knee bow before him. Sit and bow before the name. Hallelujah. Use the name of Jesus. Bind that devil in the name of Jesus. Deal with that devil. Deal with that wrong uh, spirit. Strive. Envy. 
uh, murder, drug, addiction, whatever it takes, use the name of Jesus. I want you to know every bad thing, the spirit is behind it. I remember in, in, in Thailand, we were praying for a brother. I said, lay my hand on this wonderful brother. He, he, he began to shout. I will not let him go. I will not let him go. I will not let him go. I say, who are you? He said, I am the spirit of frustration. The spirit of frustration. He said, no matter what he do, I am going to frustrate him. The spirit of frustration. <laughs> there is a spirit of suicide. There is a, Remember, Jesus deal with the spirit of infirmities. The spirit that is responsible for sickness, disease. So there is a spirit of infirmity. There is a spirit of lack. Use the name of Jesus to deal with that spirit of delay. Deal with that spirit of emotional problem. Deal with the spirit of depression. Deal with that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. You are going to say, you pray like this, I break you. I break your power. I break your power and I forbid you to operate in my body or in this body or in my family in the name of Jesus Christ. And now, if you are living in a house, suddenly you are just being afraid. All your children are afraid. Or negative things begin to take place in that house. There is a spirit that the enemy has sent to that house. You need to deal with it. I remember my personal life, my family. At the time, I was having a problem with, with, my, with my wife. Every time, every time. And as I was praying in the night, I saw a black dog sitting in our door, a revelation now. And I said, what is this? I said, this is the problem. Eh? What to do? Deal with it. And as I begin to deal with it, I saw a man now in our house, in that revelation. And I asked the man, what are you doing here? He said, we allowed him to come. I said, allow you? How? Then I begin to deal with that thing. And I used, I remember I used, I used a stick. And I whipped that man until he left our room. That was the end of our quarrel every day in the house. So some things that happen, there is a spirit behind it. That is why you need to use the name of Jesus to deal with it. Number four, use the name of Jesus for supernatural protection. Use the name of Jesus for supernatural protection. If you find yourself in a dangerous situation, call on the name of Jesus Christ. There have been countless miracles of supernatural protection and deliverance from harm through all the power in the name of Jesus. Use 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 the name of Jesus. You are traveling. I remember we were traveling to Okinawa, me and my wife. Then we just have only one son, Jerusalem. And the captain just moved straight to me. Then we, 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 we use business class ticket. And he says, sir, since we don't have a lot of people in business class, can you move to the other, the other so that your son can, I mean, we can reach it because there will be trouble in the air. And I, and I said to him, there will be no trouble in the air because I am in this, I am in this, uh, I am in this airplane. He laughed. And my wife said, please respect him. Go to the other seat. And I do, I respect I respected him and I moved to the other seat. But as I get to the other seat, I stretch off my hand. I say, Father, I say the wind that the sea will be here. I said there will be no trouble in this this time. We will move from here successfully. We will land in Okinawa, Japan for this wonderful holiday in Jesus' name. And I said, Trouble it, hear me and hear me clearly. You will obey my word. You will obey my word. And I said to the angel, clear the road in the name of Jesus. That was one of the best, the, the best time I fly. It was so smooth. And as we descend on, before we descend on the Kinawa, I mean Japan, we begin to announce, we are just getting to Okinawa now, blah, 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 blah. I look at my wife, my wife said, that is actually what you want. There is power in 
the name of Jesus. Why can't you use the name today? For your protection. If you are afraid to go out, use the name. The Bible says, we have given you a name which is above every other name. And at the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. There is power. Use his name. We'll continue from there in part two. This is just the part one. We'll talk about the part two later on. God bless you. Once again, uh, please, if you want to order my book, The Fruit of the Tongue, just go to our website and order this book. And there is one that I will send, I would like to send to everyone that will order my book. They are just a daily confection. There is anointing that breaks every yoke in his blood. And I said, the blood of Jesus set you free from sin, sickness, and hardship in Jesus' name. And a friend of mine actually released a book, a prayer book, Commanding Destiny. I would love every one of you to have that book. It's a powerful book. It's a very, very, very powerful book. And you can send a seed. It's, it's e-book. You can send any seed. I will send you that book. If you love to pray, you want to have an answer to your prayer, I will advise you to buy that book. It's a wonderful book that will change the way you pray. It will change your life. I can promise you this. All right? There are all kind of prayer points in that book. My friend is a good writer. I can say more than me. All right? I give him kudos for that. God has given me revelation. Great revelation. That that man of God can write. I give him kudos for that. You know, God call everybody differently. I know God called me into deliverance and healing ministry with a, with a prophetic mantle, prophetic fire. So God give him, and I told him one day he was laughing. I said, "You see, TTGs." I said, "It might not be into healing ministry and all that, but God give him the revelation knowledge. When that man preach, everybody stand up." Just the same thing with my friend, Andrew. And he said, I really need the healing ministry. I, really need, I said, well, appreciate what God has given to you. Walk with it, run with it. And that is how you come out. Friends, I want you to get that book. Just five US dollars, I will send you the e book. Or you can sow a seed of hundred dollar, two hundred. His name is Andrew Robert. All right, Andrew Robert. If you want to send any seed to him, just search, write Anything you anytime you send seed to me, I say okay. I want to sow into Andrew Robert life. The money will go direct to him. All right. And if you are sending it through paper, make sure you put it there. Andrew Robert. The money will go straight to him. I would love every one of you to get that book. It will change your life. I promise you. And anybody that will use that book to pray, we shall receive a miracle. Let me quickly pray for you, Father. Have your share with them. For which they will use the name of Jesus Christ. And as they follow very simple instruction, let miracle begin to happen in their life. Even if every, anyone that is watching me now, give them a miracle. Please, as you watch this video, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube, please subscribe to this YouTube. And don't keep it to yourself. Send it to other people. At least eight people. Eight is a number of a new beginning. And as you do, may God bless you and give you a fresh and new miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. I remain your brother and your host, Brother Kevin. I'll see you again. Shalom. Bye-bye for now.